okay guys so welcome back again so this is an optional video for your remote server setup because uh, in this video what i am going to do i am simply going to set up my terminal that is i wanted to change my bash shell to something interesting like fish shell and fish shell is uh, very super simple to use and why i'm using fish shell uh, fish shell is because that it prettifies the terminal session and it also provides a couple of utilities like auto completion and much more and since uh, you have to work with re your remote session a lot uh, at times and then using the default bash shell is like tedious to use and it's uh, not pretty at all so what i'm going to use i'm going to use this shell here though you can also use zsh but this fish shell is super simple to install and it is super easy to use and it provides almost all the functionalities or even more than compared to zsh so i'm going to install this fish shell on my remote machine so now firstly let me ssh into my remote machine and now I'm logged in as the killer user. So let me clear out. And now what I'm going to do, I'm going to install that fish shell. So let me do sudo. And this time I need to use sudo because I wanted to uh, execute this command as a sudo user. So I'm using sudo and not simply DNF. So sudo DNF install fish hyphen y to install it silently. And it will take a moment or so to install fish. And it is super cute to use. Maybe that's what can be said about this fish shell so now it's almost complete and now if i do which fish then we can see that fish is installed uh, if i do fish version maybe this thing so we see that we are in, we have installed this fish version that is 312 so now let me see what all shells are present inside my remote machine so i'll do cat uh, let me clear out the screen first so cat hc and all the shells that are installed are present inside this hc directory inside the shells thing here so we see that we have these many shells here we have the simple shell we have the bash shell and we have the fish shell also so what we want to do if we want to go to the fish shell what we can do we can simply type in fish and now we are inside the fish shell and we can see that already we see that we have this uh, prettier output inside our terminal that is we have colored output and if we do ls we can see something else also that is we have some colored output here so that's why we have installed the fish shell but if i exit out of the fish shell we see that we have our pretty boring bash shell as always so what i wanted to do that is whenever i log into my ssh terminal that is ssh that is this remote machine i all all always want to have fish as my default shell so what i'll do i'll simply set that shell as my default shell by executing this command so i need, need to do sudo user mod hyphen hyphen shell and then we need to provide in the path of the shell which we want to use so i can simply issue this command inside this uh, parentheses that is which fish which would provide us the path of the fish shell and then we need to provide in the username for whom we want to execute this command so this is for this killer user so now let me press enter and now this shell is set for this killer user so now let me exit out of this terminal session here and now let me ssh back as the killer user again so we see now that by default we have this fish shell enabled here inside our terminal and now we can execute pretty much any command and we see that we have this auto completion working here that is clear we see that it, it came automatically and uh, if i do l then it prompts us that whatever history we have used before and uh, so on and so forth or maybe if we write touch uh, so we see that touch is in co blue color because this command is right but if i write something like if i misspell some command so it prompts us that this is red which means that this is uh, this uh, this thing is not executable so this is why i use this fish shell on my remote machines so if you like you can install fish and if you don't like then you can install whatever term of uh, shell you want to use or you can simply stick with the bash shell so that's all about this video so see you in the next one